Hello, it's your girl Micah, and what may look like intestines in my hands is actually cheesecloth. Today we are going to be dyeing it English lavender, according to the Rit Dye recipe online. I am giving a try of dyeing my own DIY wedding cheesecloth table runner slash table decor pieces. I saw this on the internet and thought I can make that. So uh, $60 in cheesecloth, 50 yards of cheesecloth later. And here we are. What I did first was pop this in the washing machine on a delicate or gentle cycle just to get anything, any residue of sorts off of the fabric. If anybody ever did tie-dye growing up, it's very similar to that. But then, it all was a folded mess. So now I'm having to unfold it so I don't get any lines or wrinkles of color. In with my cheesecloth, because I would like for this to be a consistent English lavender. And all that is is a mixture of purple, two parts purple to one part pearl gray. It's in a knot. So that was a that's five gallons of hot water. And this says half a bottle, three gallons. So I'm going to be using a bottle and a half. That's nine gallons of water. That's a lot. I feel like I should have gotten that other bucket. How much would you hate me if I needed you to get me the other big bucket? I'm like, for real. Honey, <laughs> I messed up and got too small of a bucket. <laughs> but like, look for real, high key, I need a bigger bucket. Although, hold on. This says, this says, under directions, see this, I'm confused because right here it says pre-wash fabric to remove any finishes or stains. Done. For every pound of dry fabric, four and a quarter pounds, use half a bottle of dye with three gallons of the hottest water safe for fabric. Add one teaspoon of, dish li of liquid dish detergent. To achieve a darker or more intense color, double dye quantity. For best results, add one cup of salt to dye bath. I have heard of that before. Uh, for cotton rayon or linen. But then it says directions. And then it says... Shake well before using, and it, it then it just says mix enough hot water for the fabric to move freely. Hello? And then you add the dye. And then you stir it constantly for 30 minutes. We just go use this one. It'll be more concentrated color. So we're going to use all of this. I will do seven and a half gallons. All of this. All of this. Half of this. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. One shot of vodka. You know what I just realized? I have nothing to stir this with. <laughs> okay. <laughs> smells like the ocean. That is hot. Should I go get gloves? Yes. I'll be extra. Waste not, want not, as my mom mom always says. And now half. I feel like a mad scientist. 
I feel like I'm making just a big vat of grape Kool-Aid. Like, this is what it looks like to me, is grape Kool-Aid. Oh, ooh. Should I add more gray? You don't know? Use your words. Do you not find this satisfying? This looks like a ramen noodle in here. Oh, I like it. Should I add more water? And now I'm massage. And yes, I will dump this out outside. Shit, how do I get it outside? I should have done this outside. I have realized my mistake. And I have hair in my mouth and dye on my hands. Okay, you were right. We do projects from out <laughs> we do projects outside from now on. You were right. That's so pretty. I'm gonna be kind of bummed if this isn't like even. I should have done this in a bathtub. So one hour and a shower. Rude. Honey, your your microwave brownie interrupted. As I was saying. As I was saying, one hour and a shower later, we have purple dyed cheesecloth. Our next step is going to be to somehow drain all this purple without making a mess. We're getting it on our dogs. And then we are going to throw it in the washing machine on a rinse cycle, delicate rinse cycle, just to get all of the leftover liquid dye out of it. Then I'm going to dry it on low so it doesn't shrink. I'm a little nervous it's going to shred in the dryer because it's 50 yards, which my fiance so lovingly pointed out is half the length of the football field. So <clears throat> let's uh, hope this doesn't go awry. <laughs> Isn't that right, Benny? Benny! Pilot! <laughs> You're gonna make me spill! Oh, sh- I will grab my gloves, wring out as much of the cheese of the cheesecloth as I can, and put it in a plastic grocery bag. Yes. I just tangled it more. Gosh. So I put the cheesecloth on a rinse cycle and I didn't want to look too closely at it while it was still wet because I knew it would be a different color when it was wet than if it were dry. Then I popped it in the dryer on a low to no heat setting and since it's cheesecloth and it's thin it didn't take very long to dry. So without further ado... Not quite the grayish purple I was wanting, but I'll roll with it. So I will say, if you were like me and desiring more gray, I would add, actually, maybe try the opposite. Instead of two parts purple to one part gray, do two parts gray to one part purple. Who knows? I like purple, so I'm happy with it. I will say some parts are two different color purples, but it maybe will work for like the ombre look. Maybe in hindsight I should have cut up the desired lengths I wanted. However, I'm not sure what desired lengths I want them to be yet, so I wanted to have the ability to cut as I needed and then go from there and not have to worry about dyeing it. But I probably should have done that or put it in a bigger bucket and kept it more uniformly stirred rather than just tossing it around because as you can see this is a tangled mess 
and it is kind of shriveled. So what I'm going to do is iron it on a very, very low heat setting, like the lowest heat setting my iron has got. So I've got my iron right here, ironing board right here, Brooklyn Nine-Nine on TV. So I'm going to go to town on this bad boy. And then I'm going to fold it up real nice and then I will show you all the finished product. Here we are, what has turned into my wedding room. I have actually thought about doing a wedding series. So that's probably what's going to be my mica tries for the next couple months until I get married at the end of April. I am in uncharted waters when it comes to wedding things because I'm trying to do it. I don't like to say the word cheap because then it sounds like gaudy and ugly and not the elegant ish wedding I'm looking for but I am trying to do my wedding as inexpensive there's the better word for it as inexpensive as possible this cheesecloth experiment that I did was pretty well worth it considering you can look online for things like these and it's very expensive and after completing all of this I understand why because oh my goodness it took me a good solid four hours to untangle, roll into a ball. So what I did was I untangled it and folded it cohesively instead of in one big, what looked like to me, oversized yarn. I folded it into a nice roll, put it on the floor in front of my ironing board, and I would bring it up and over my table, over my ironing board, excuse me, iron it on the lowest setting with a little bit of steam. I then would iron it and bring it forward and it would just cascade down and it would give it time to cool so it wouldn't get folded while it was still hot creating wrinkles and it did go f i thought it wasn't going to be very much because it was all shrinked up and shriveled and everything and it ended up being an insane amount of cheesecloth and then after i ironed all of it i went back and just folded it a little neatly. It was more ombre in some parts. Some parts were darker than others. Some parts were lighter than others. But because I'm doing a set color scheme, not necessarily specific colors, it's going to work. And I'm pretty excited about that. I would recommend doing a color scheme. So I'm doing earth tone blues and purples. And that way I'm not trapped with a specific color that I have to try and match something to. And it all just really flows really well. As you can see with all of my flowers back here, I am doing a mix of fake and real flowers. So here we have the finished cheesecloth. It is pretty wide, and this isn't the best light to showcase the color, but this is how I folded it. So I just kind of have it, like I guess accordion folded to like this but it is relatively see-through. I have these submersible LED tea light candles and they are gorgeous and oh my goodness, are they the brightest things in the world, literally. I could use these as camera light. And so here's a better look at it. But also I have thought about putting cheesecloth over the tops of these tea light candles on the tables as the sun is setting and the night is coming in. It'll give a really pretty effect, a really whimsical effect with my cheesecloth. Slowly but surely everything's coming together. So thank you for watching this video. I'm sorry it wasn't much of a tutorial but it's because I don't really know what I'm doing here. It's more or less just try things with me so if anybody has any tips or tricks be sure to post that in the comments down below. I will post the link to the recipe or any other recipes that you can follow on the dyes website. I can also post the link of my cheesecloth that I purchased as well as these LED lights. 